Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing, just looking at, looking, looking, looking. Hey guys, we've got the lovely Zainab with us. Hi, hi everyone. She's also doing the diploma and we're going to explain to you how to use the stem implant kit. So usually the kits apparently start in the top left or bottom left. Well, this one is the top left that you start with. And this one is the guide drill, isn't it? So the guide drill is the first one that you use. There we go. And there has like little lines on it. We show you the measurements as well. So um, according to the length and width, okay? So that's the width of the implant, 4.5. That's the width. Yeah. And the 11.5 is the length. So how do we decide which one are we using? It depends on the CT scan or all the measurements that are going to be done during the consultation. So 4.5, so that's 4.5, that's the width, but not always 4.5. It can be 3, 3.5, 4, 4.5. So normally it's 3, 4, 5, let's say, in between. And that's the length. It can be 6, 7, 8.5, 10, 11.5, and 13. Yeah. Now we assumed from the CT scans that our length is 11.5 and the width is 4.5. So literally we have to go this point and finish to this point. 11.5, 4.5. First of all, we have to start to make a hole. So that's literally just a pinch. Yeah, so that's the pilot hole. Okay, that's yeah, the, the one. Yeah, the pilot hole. Okay, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, we are at the end of All day done. one. End of day one. It was yeah. a long, busy day. The first half was lecture, second half was all hands on. So good, man. So good. This was the second fake implant I've ever placed. Yes. Because you didn't want to uni. Yeah, yeah, I did want to uni. I forgot no, it all. I'm, I'm going to be honest, you know, I think they just gave us the pilot drill. <laughs> yeah, at uni? Yeah. Just gave us the pilot drill and said, drill here, drill yeah. here. Well, what about you face an implant? <laughs> no, but we did a really good one here. We had these, all these kits and stuff. Yeah. Oh, there we go. I don't know, I'm following you. So we had all these kits, we placed it. Um, I found it really interesting. I didn't think I was going to find it interesting. Like you would saw at the beginning of the vlog, I said I'm not really into this stuff. But um, kind of learning about the managing the patient expectations, talking to them about the options of implants. And I mean, I, I don't think I'll be placing implants anytime soon, but like socket preservation is really important. And I recently had a case where I didn't do it. And now like you know, there's, I can see the consequences. So now I know the implantologist is going to struggle. And then also from the other side, in terms of referring, like mm. kind of just knowing case selection, what is and isn't going to be accepted. Yeah. Um, and yeah. managing patients' expectations in terms of they've got three, four caps missing. Okay, are they going to need three, four implants? Probably yeah. not. They could yeah. probably get a bridge of one. Yeah. Um, that kind of thing. And so that they kind of know is it worth that much money for yeah. them um, to do this kind of procedure? And yeah. And because sometimes yeah. ha patients have two gaps missing and they think, oh, I'm going to need two implants. That's going to be like six thousand pounds. But that's not always the case. No. And we can kind of explain that to the patient. Um, so that was really useful. Yeah. Um, what do we have tomorrow? I think tomorrow is more hands-on and also soccer preservation, I believe. We're going to be learning about that as well. Yeah. Like how to actually do it and the process for it. So we'll keep you updated. Cool, guys. Take care. See you tomorrow. Day two, baby. Yo, what's up? Let's go. Hey, guys. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> so day two today. Yeah, soccer preservation, hands on, I know. And restoring implants. Restoring implants, yeah. yeah. I told them this yesterday, man. They know this. They're bored yeah, of us. True, That's true, it. True, true, true. We'll keep What's the food? Yes. That's what we need to ask. We're going to request Dominic's. We'll see if it happens. We'll see if it happens. Yeah. All right, guys. Catch you in a bit. Forgot to vlog the hands on bit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so, she's too engaged. We're too keen to learn. So, um, we did the normal suit train. Uh, and then we did socket preservation. So we did the type two socket preservation, which is where the buckle bone is lost as well. So we packed a membrane um, and then filled that with, um, what's it called? The grafting. The grafting, yeah. The grafting material. material. Ugma bond? Ugma bond. Ugma bond. And then that goes, the membrane goes over and then we did a horizontal mattress suture over that. Yeah. That took a long time for us because it was our first time doing it. Um, but that was cool to learn. Gonna maybe do some soccer preservation in the future. And more importantly, food. Food. I've got a lamb wrap. Yeah. 
Um, Zoe's got a chicken wrap and we're ha going halves. Yeah, share everything. Uh, and yeah. Hey guys, just finished uh, the implant journey two day course. Um, now we're at Spice Rack, which is just <laughs> yeah. the restaurant next door. Usually yeah. after the courses, we all come to Spice Rack uh, just to have a, a drink or eat or something like that. Yeah, and, uh, it was really good to be honest. The course over the two days, we learned so much. Um, we didn't really know much about implants, and now we feel like we can actually discuss proper options with our patients, um, kind of know the suitability of certain cases and bridge preservation soon, hopefully. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but yeah, it's really good. It's good. I'll show you guys the restaurant really quickly. It's really nice. That's right. And that's uh, cook out. Hey. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're gonna enjoy some food and we will catch you guys uh, next week probably. Yeah, take care. Okay, guys, bye.